Look at Mars, a desolate world of rust and shadow. It is a graveyard of ancient rivers or a cradle of life we've yet to understand. Today we journey to Mars not with rockets but with questions. Mars is not just a planet, it's a mirror of our ambitions, our fears and curiosity. The Greeks called it Ares, the god of war, for its blood-red hue. But to us it is a canvas of possibility. Why does Mars captivate us? Because it feels like familiar. Its canyons taller than Everest, its volcanoes vast enough to swallow cities, and its polar ice caps with frozen water. Every discovery raises more questions than answers. Could Mars once have been like Earth, or is it a warning of what Earth could become in far future? Let's talk about water, the lifeblood of any world. In 2004, NASA's Opportunity rover found minerals that only form in liquid water. In 2018, radar detected a lake beneath Martian Southern Pole, which is 20 kilometers wide, hidden under ice. carving through Martian soil, oceans lapping against alien shores. If water 
water was there, could life have followed? Here is a twist. Water alone isn't enough. Something stopped Mars in its tracks. magnetic field, a thinning atmosphere, turning it into the desert we see today. Is there life on Mars? Viking landers in far 1970s found strange chemical signals. Some said it was life, others said it was just geology. Today, rovers like Perseverance scrape the dirt, sniffing for organic molecules. carbon compounds, the building blocks of life. Here is the catch. Mars is coy. Every clue is ambiguous, like a riddle carved in stone.